In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to find and use the dripstone and the pointed dripstone blocks in your Minecraft world. To find dripstone, you simply have to go caving. Dripstone will naturally generate in dripstone caves that are coming in 1.18. However, we can find them in 1.17 in original caves as well. However, they can be quite rare. You can also obtain pointed dripstone from a wandering trader. And the dripstone block can be obtained from a stonemason villager. The easiest way to get dripstone will be in 1.18 when the dripstone caves are added. Simple caving, the stonemason villager and the wandering trader are currently the only ways to get dripstone in 1.17. To get dripstone from a wandering trader, you will have to be quite patient, as you will have a 1 in 7 chance or a 14% chance of getting this trade. The pointed dripstone trade will be 1 emerald for 2 pointed dripstone. You will be allowed to purchase this 5 times per wandering trader, giving you a total of 10 pointed dripstone. The stonemason villager will have a chance to trade the dripstone block at the journeyman tier. In fact, the chance of getting this trade is a 1 in 3.5 chance. The dripstone block trade will be 1 emerald for 4 dripstone blocks. Dripstone and pointed dripstone can also be broken with any tier of pickaxe. To craft a dripstone block, you will need 4 pointed dripstone, which you can place in a 2x2 two two square in the crafting bench. This will now allow you to farm dripstone. On a side note though, I do have a dripstone farm on my channel and you can find it by clicking the link in the top right hand corner. To grow dripstone, you will need to have a water source block above a dripstone block. You can then place your pointed dripstone below your dripstone block. Over time, this will grow in length. The water will drip from the stalactite and you will notice as well that stalactites will start to grow. If you break the dripstone block that is holding the pointed dripstone, it will fall and cause damage to the player or the animal that is beneath it, similar to an anvil. And if you do the opposite and make the player or the animals fall onto the dripstone, it will have the same outcome. Throwing a trident at the dripstone will also break and drop the pointed dripstone. With dripstone now being added to the game, it allows lava to be renewable. To do this, you will need to put lava above the dripstone and a cauldron beneath the stalactite. Over time, the pointed dripstone will drip into the cauldron and fill it up. Then you can right click with your bucket and you have a bucket of lava. This essentially gives you an infinite lava source. So that is how you find and use dripstone in Minecraft and if you found this video useful please like the video and comment below telling me some cool dripstone build ideas. And as always if you wish to see some more helpful videos just like this one be sure to subscribe. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.